STS-40, the 11th launch of Space Shuttle Columbia, was a nine-day mission in June, 1991. It carried the Spacelab module for Spacelab Life Sciences 1 SLS-1, the fifth Spacelab mission and the first dedicated solely to biology. STS-40 was the first spaceflight that included three women crew members. Topic Crew Topic Backup Crew Topic Crew Seating Arrangements Topic Mission Highlights Launch originally set for the 22nd of May 1991. Mission postponed less than 48 hours before launch when it became known that a leaking liquid hydrogen transducer in orbiter main propulsion system which was removed and replaced during leak testing in 1990, had failed an analysis by vendor. Engineers feared that one or more of the nine liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen transducers protruding into fuel and oxidizer lines could break off and be ingested by the engine turbopumps, causing engine failure. In addition, one of Orbiter 5 general purpose computers failed completely, along with one of the multiplexer demultiplexers that control Orbiter Hydraulics Ordnance and Orbiter Maneuvering System. Reaction control system functions in the aft compartment. A new general purpose computer and multiplexer demultiplexer were installed and tested. One liquid hydrogen and two liquid oxygen transducers were replaced upstream in propellant flow system near the 17-inch disconnect area, which is protected by internal screen. Three liquid oxygen transducers replaced at engine manifold area, while three liquid hydrogen transducers here were removed and openings plugged. Launch reset for 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 1 June, but postponed again after several attempts to calibrate inertial measurement Unit 2 failed. Unit was replaced and retested, and launch was rescheduled for 5 June. Launched successfully on 5 June 1991, at 9, 12.51 pm Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the mission had a launch weight, 114,290 kg 251,970 pounds. It was the fifth dedicated Spacelab mission, Spacelab Life Sciences 1, and first dedicated solely to life sciences, using the habitable module. Mission featured most detailed and interrelated physiological measurements in space since 1973–1974 Skylab missions. Subjects were humans, 30 rodents and thousands of tiny jellyfish. Primary SLS-1 experiments studied six body systems, of 18 investigations, 10 involved humans, 7 involved rodents, and 1 used jellyfish. Six body systems investigated were cardiovascular, cardiopulmonary heart, lungs and blood vessels, renal, endocrine kidneys and hormone secreting organs and glands, blood, blood plasma, immune system white blood cells, musculoskeletal muscles and bones, and neurovestibular brains and nerves, eyes and inner ear. Other payloads included 12 getaway special gas canisters installed on gas bridge in Cargo Bay for experiments in materials science, plant biology and cosmic radiation CG616, MIDIC zero gravity dynamics experiment mode, and seven orbiter experiments OEX. 
Landing was on the 14th of June 1991 at 8 hours 39 minutes and 11 seconds MPDT on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base, California. Rollout distance 2,866 meters, 9,403 feet. Rollout time 55 seconds. Orbiter returned to KSC the 21st of June. Landing weight 102,755 kilograms, 226,536 pounds. Topic: Wake up calls. NASA began its long-standing tradition of waking up astronauts with music during Apollo 15. Each track is specially chosen, often by the astronauts' families, and usually has a special meaning to an individual member of the crew, or is applicable to their daily activities. See also. G-616, "...the effects of cosmic radiation on floppy disks", List of human spaceflights List of Space Shuttle missions Outline of Space Science Space Shuttle <laughs>